person. We hope that Wilson can continue to host this special night as a celebrated tradition. So we have a lot of awesome activities planned, so let's get started. Hello. Oh. <laughs> you know, actually, Rachel, I remember the last one. The last one was February 2020. Right. It was right before March 2020 when it all went down. You know, everything from the toilet paper to, to the everything. I mean, it's all a haze now. But I remember sitting there in the audience thinking, wow, I can't wait to be on stage next year. But now, two years later, here we are. And we're all back thanks to all of you because tonight, all proceeds from ticket sales will be going to the Afghan American Women's Association. Well, I'm terrible at math. Shout out to my math teacher, Miss Nowicki, for not giving up on me. <laughs> and would not be able to estimate how much we've raised today. Not only are we back to celebrate together, but we're back to doing so to help one of our own. So if you could get a round of applause going for all of our custodian, all of our staff, teachers, parents, volunteers, performers, but most of all the audience for making tonight happen. So, um, let's introduce ourselves. I'm John Colcarpio. And I'm Rachel Ajameo. So, I'm here today because my parents and older brother emigrated from the Philippines over 30 years ago. Although we have not been able to visit the Philippines together, I still feel a meaningful connection to my culture, my roots, through my surname, and other Filipino traditions that have carried on here in the U.S. So, with my last name, Lag de Mayo, it translates from two languages. Mayo, meaning my, from Spanish, and Lagda derived from Tagalog meaning signature. So, if you put those translations together, my last name means my signature. Um, actually, Rachel has a great signature. She has great handwriting, and I've seen it. Ms. Blevins is here tonight, a teacher at the Woodson Writing Center, and we have a bunch of Woodson Writing Center students here. She's and my last name is actually so unique that I am actually related to all Lagda Mayos, and my uncle Ortito, who immigrated to the U.S. in the early 70s, marked the Lagda Mayos here for the first time in the U.S. Hi. Um, I'm John. My last name is Policarpio. Um, some guesses, um, some people say it sounds a little Italian, full of curfew. Uh, a little Greek, Spanish, question mark, and definitely Filipino. And I can go on and on about the history of second century Greek to Spanish Catholicism. But I do understand the confusion. Full carpio, full carpio, full carpio. Um, just like how I understand the confusion in some places when I walk in. I'm sometimes mistaken for knowing languages I do not know. Uh, my mom. Hi, mom. Um, actually, my mom once joked that she named me after John Lloyd. Um, he was a pretty attractive 2000s era Filipino actor. Rachel, do you know? Yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. I can show you. Okay. Ma? Mom? When I'm in Um. And he has lines of Minhanibako, Daikilang and Moko. Do you love me because you need me? Or Kilang and Moko, Kilang and Moko. That was a rhythm. Anyway, <laughs> every now and then my mom is greeted with Oda, and watch that. I'll shout out to my Spanish teachers. And once in a while, I'll get a Anyong Seo. Shout out to the Korean Student Association for teaching me. To the point, this idea of blending and being exposed to new cultures is not just Filipino specific, rather what this entire night is about. Kind of like a mixer, um, happy late Valentine's Day to all, and kind of like a party. Speaking of parties, Filipinos have great parties. Karaoke, being pre-pressured by your titas and titas with dance, um, eating plenty of delicious foods, and actually one year I invited a dear friend to a family party and her dad was intrigued by the bullet. Shout out to Mr. Lucas. <laughs> A famous MC of the Philippines. I felt so appreciated that her dad wanted to actually try the bullet, a part of my own culture. Bingo! Because that's exactly what tonight will be. From seeing different clothes, to hearing different songs, to following with new dances, tonight's goal is not only to appreciate other people's culture, but to be proud of our own. Quote by Rachel Lackman, May 2022. Alright, before we get into the amazing performances and acts for tonight, 
It's time for the annual cultural fashion show. And with that being said, let's get this year's international night started. <laughs>
Cuba. It has become the symbol of Vietnamese feminine beauty and the pride of the Vietnamese people. Ava Lacosta is wearing the modern Vietnamese Ao Yai. This outfit is most commonly worn for weddings, formal events, and celebrations. It's a national attire of Vietnam and signals elegance and grace. Also worn by Lin Tong and brother Nick Tong, the Vietnamese Ao Yai